This week we're going to be talking about the sample application that we're going to use. So I was doing a little bit of searching and digging and stuff and I ended up finding this one sample app that I really enjoyed. So I went to its GitHub, I forked it, I customized it a ton and I got it up and running in a containerized way. So, you know, we can actually run it as a container locally or in AWS or something like that. So if you want to do the same thing, feel free to just fork this from my repository and ensure that you use the Docker branch. So let's head over to VS Code. I'm going to show you this application really quick and we're going to get it up and running in our local Docker environment. All right, so we have our code here. This is our node application that we saw on GitHub. So what we have is we have our package.json and the package.json is essentially what makes the node app run. It contains its dependencies, the start command that's used, the node engine and the NPM engine, etc. We have our Docker file here and that's what's creating our containerized version of our node application. So on line one here, we see that we're using the base image for node. We see here we're using a working directory of slash user slash source slash app. We're copying our package.json, which again is our dependency file essentially. We're running npm install and what npm install does is it looks at the default package.json and then it installs these dependencies here that we see on lines 20 through through 25. We copy our current directory into our new directory. We expose port 3000 and the reason why we do that is because by default, any node app is running on port 3000. And then finally, we have our command here. So our command is what actually runs our node app. So like if we just ran this command inside of our terminal, for example, first we'll need to run npm install. It's gonna go through and install all of our dependencies. And then we can run our command here. We'll see that it's actually gonna run our application. So if I go ahead and close out of that, I go back to the Docker file. That's exactly what this command is doing here. The same thing as we would just run on the terminal and we wanna ensure that we run that command that way the application runs inside of the container. So I have some Docker commands here, really straightforward. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to build our container. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that. And then if we run Docker image LS, we'll see that our test app has been created here. Notice I have a test app too. That was just because I was playing around and testing before. Next, we're gonna run our container, so docker run. Now, see here that we're using port 49160. Our application is gonna be running on port 3000, but the way that we're gonna actually hit our application in a web browser is over port 49160. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run that. We're gonna run docker container ls. We see that our application is running, so now let's head over to our web browser again. All right, so we're in our web browser here. If we go ahead and we open up localhost over port 49160, we'll see that our application is officially running. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about what it would actually look like to monitor an application like this. Thank you so much for watching, really do appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.